What's up, party people? Let's scrape some Amazon reviews. The code is here on GitHub, Ryan C. Culp slash AMZ reviews. I've made this so that a non-coder can use it as well. However, if you have done a little bit of coding and working with your command line, that's gonna, of course, be a little more comfortable for you. First, let's go over and figure out what we want to scrape. I'm a big fan of the Best Self Journal, and so I wanna scrape the reviews for it so that I can read them before I go to sleep at night. I wanna make sure I don't click on an advertisement since this is a homie. And let's get the ASIN. This is in two places. For the nerds, it's in the URL after this DP. And if you are not a nerd like me, you can just search the word ASIN and you'll get it from here. This is basically Amazon's internal ID, kind of like a barcode. So we're gonna need that, but let's hang on to it for a second. Heading back over to the code, I wanna follow my own readme so that I make sure this code is sound. It says first install Ruby. You're gonna do that on this badass installer that I happen to own. Then you're gonna make sure that these Ruby gems are installed, these two. They're called Water and Headless. Water is a scraper that allows you to write Ruby code that under the hood uses the Selenium scraping technology. And Headless is sort of like an add-on for Water that allows the browser to run in the background. This is gonna make your scraping faster and it's also gonna make it feel a little bit more magical. I'm on my uh, downloads folder and I'm gonna just do gem install water. Enter, of course, and then gym install headless. And now I've got those two gyms installed. Next, move this AMZ reviews file from this repo to an executable. To get that file, there's not a really a great way on GitHub to click like download. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go back to this full code base, which has the code and this readme, and I'm gonna download that whole thing as a zip. Let's go into my downloads folder here and open this zip and all we need is this file. So I'm just gonna put this in my downloads and I'm gonna delete everything else so it's not confusing. Back in our terminal, if I hit LS to list the files, you can see I've got this file and it says, let's move it. I'm on Mac, so I'm gonna move it here. This step is optional, so if you don't have this folder on Mac or you're on Windows, no big deal, you'll still be able to use the scraper. Paste this in, move the file. The first argument is the file you're moving. The second argument is where you wanna move it to. So all we've done is like magic, gotten rid of that file and buried it in our computer on what is known as an executable path. And you'll see why that's pretty neat. Note that this scraper does use Firefox. You can totally use Chrome. You just need to change one little line of code right here. Let's look for the word Firefox. You're gonna just write the word Chrome. But if you set up this scraper with Chrome, you might have some other things you have to install like Chrome web drivers and keeping your web drivers in sync with your actual Chrome version. The Firefox path is just a little bit simpler. All right, using the scraper, simply one command. So we've got AMZ reviews, we're gonna type in from any directory on our computer. That's because we moved the file itself to an executable path. And we're gonna pass in one, two, or three arguments. The first is the ASIN, and then optionally we can add a page start and page end. So let's say I only wanted to get reviews from like March 2020 to June 2021. I could click around on Amazon, figure out what those pages are, page one, page 70, and type that in. If I don't do that, it's just gonna give me all 500 pages, which is 5,000 reviews. So let's go back and get our ASIN. And then from our terminal in my uh, downloads folder, but I could do this from my desktop or wherever, AMZ tab, and that should auto-complete because it's looking for that on my executable, executable path. We're gonna type in our ASIN, and I don't wanna make you wait around all day, and I don't think my Loom account is good enough for that, so I'm gonna get like pages one, two, three. Let's hit enter, and just like our readme says, it's going to spit out some logs of the progress. So we're trying to fetch reviews. The first thing the scraper does is it just goes to the page and refreshes it so that Amazon doesn't try to ask for login or detect scraping uh, you know, mechanisms. And then it's gonna fetch each page, and that was really fast. Let's hit LS, and you can see that it creates a file, amz-reviews slash whatever your uh, ASIN was so that you can run this scraper a bunch of times for a bunch of products and not worry about overwriting anything. Now I'm gonna look at this file, hit spacebar to preview, and you can see we've got a really nice clean PDF or CSV with the date of the review and the country, the star count. You can now easily crunch this data uh, in a spreadsheet, whatever you'd like to do with it, and they will be ordered uh, most recent to past. Hope you enjoy. That is the free Amazon review scraper. Ciao.